we made it. We got the engine out of the Tundra V8 4.7 liter non-VBTI and I'm test fitting it into the FJ. I've got most of the accessories on it except for the oil filter and the um, AC compressor. So putting it down in, I'm going to try to slide it down in here without any motor mounts on to just see how low I can get it because I need to check the oil pan clearance and see if it can go low enough so that I can hook this up to the transmission and kind of see how far it's going to stick up in case I might have any issues with the hood. Now looking down here I can see because my oil pan has a front forward pickup see this this bump here this lump wants to hit the power steering which is no good and the front diff super tight squeeze there and so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna show you another angle from the back here I'm gonna have to get the parts from the from a forerunner V8 the upper low, lower oil pan and put them on there on the bottom because I think it has a rear pickup for the oil and it pushes that lump to the very back where it can fit so now I've taken off the lower oil pan. There's a ton of little bolts, 10 millimeter uh, heads. And once you get all those out, I hammered gently down all around on the outside, any corner I could get to, to, to break the seal and pop that off. I do not know how someone would get that off from under while it's still in the truck. Um, so here's the view. You can see the pickup is kind of front center there's a dipstick there if you're ever wondering if you if you're high above the dot it looks like your oil line is above the baffle there so yeah the pickups right there and I'm gonna uh, test fit the engine again just like this to see how it fits to see if there would be any room to get like a modified oil pan and try it at this point I don't think so See, the way that pickup is, I thought, oh, maybe I could just spin it around reverse it. No, you need a longer pipe that goes all the way back towards the back. So, let's go all the way down here and pick up back there to get in between the cross member and, and all the other the diff and such. So now I've put the engine back in without the pan on. That's about low as I can go if if I could, you know get a modified pan made or made make one myself that's as low as I could go with this pickup um, maybe not even that low and I can see here from the motor mount uh, it's just about touching on this side but what's happening with these stock Tundra motor mounts is that it's pushing they're too wide essentially so I need to get the Forerunner V8 motor mounts and brackets as well it's a little bit of a pain because I don't have a 4Runner V8 parts truck, but that would ideally be the proper uh, parts truck to have. And these old um, motor mounts are so rusted, I couldn't even get the bolts off. I had to grind them off. That middle one there, I could not get it off to separate the two pieces of the mount. So yeah, it's pushing the engine this way, which is kind of pushing it into the fuel lines, and the exhaust would push over into the steering. As far as in the back, I'm still not as far back as I need to go so once I you know move that pickup oil pickup then I should be able to go down and back even more uh, to get to made up with the transmission back here but yeah see there's plenty of room back there on the kind of the back right and so I'm hoping the forerunner solves that issue some people have still said I believe I might have an issue with the front ADD actuator. I hope that's not true, but it could be. And so I may get a new oil pan from the Forerunner and then still need to cut a little chunk out of it. We'll see. So, looking good for the swap. Um, some other challenges I came into with transmissions and so forth, I'll show in another video. But this is kind of where I'm at.